Hello. It's 11, I mean, it's 1.41 p.m. So, I'm surprised, like, remember I told y'all Miss Brenda acted a certain kind of funny and mean yesterday? Well, today, she asked me, like, oh, how you doing? I said, oh, I'm fine. Then later on, you know, it's like we help clean the floor. And then after a while, we sit down and wait till after Mr. John is done with, um, we dust mop the floor. And then after he's done with, um, using the floor cleaner, then we go help move the table. So they had not even started yet. Come on, man. So, all right. So then, they have not gotten up yet to start. And um, Miss Creola was sitting down still. And I don't know where Mr. William was, but I think Mr. John was still cleaning the floor. Or I think he just got done or something. I don't remember. But we were still sitting down. And so, I was trying to catch, I was trying to, um, figure out the balance on, like, the people, these people had gave me some little gift cards and a little money as an early Christmas gift or whatever, and, um, so it was small amounts, like, maybe, like, $15 on one card, $30 on another card, and $40 cash, and, or maybe $10 on another card, so I got, like, about five or six gift cards. So thank you to people who gave me the, you know, pulled together to gave, give me the gift cards. So we were still sitting down. And then Miss Brenda said with an attitude, Candy, um, you know, we could use a little help. At, at first, I didn't know. I couldn't hear her. I'm like, huh? And it took after the third time I finally heard what she said. So I said, Miss Brenda, why would you have to say it like that? Okay, you know, we could use a little help. I said, what? You know, we can use a little help. What? I know you, I know we can, she's like, you know we can use a little help. And so then I said, Miss Brenda, why you had to say it like that? And then she got defensive and like, real, like I never saw her like this. Like got real defensive like, oh, don't you start on me because I ain't doing nothing to tell you. Y you know, so immediately I told the supervisor, and he was like, oh, whatever. Um, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he just said something about don't don't worry about it. But he said, oh, we'll talk about it later or whatever. But I told the temp service and I told the, um, the, the other lady, you, you know. So it's like I said, damn, Miss Brenda's joining in too. So I had my suspicions that she could have been a perp too. So it's like after the, after Friday... I feel like I don't want to work here no more. She try to make me feel super unwelcome. Like, she really fucking hates me. You know, and she just started acting like, kind of like that yesterday. But she did a couple of gaslighting and workplace mobbing and a few little things herself, you know. And here the online gang stalkers falsely accusing me of elderly abuse. But what is it called when she's abusing and gang stalk participating in gang stalking me? Like... I mean, they were out on the streets, you, you, you know, earlier today, like a couple of hours ago, gang stalking me, and Miss Brenda got from her car, and then they, her and Miss Creole and Mr. John all chilling in his Ford Escape. I got it on film. I, I, I mean, if y'all want to get me punished for speaking out, I mean, y'all get mad at me for keeping, people get mad at me for pe keeping quiet, and they say, well, when it comes to workplace bullying or workplace mobbing or whatever, report every small incident instantly. And don't hold anything in. But I, I mean, how can I report it without mentioning gang stalking? And the gang stalking is why I kept things quiet for a while, you know? And then feeling like I don't want to say nothing because, oh, I, I can't afford to be back on the streets. Or I can't afford to get fired or, or whatever or anything like that, you know? So this is my freaking documentation and my paper trail about, you know, what she, what she did. Like, and then she kept sat across, like, sat in a, in a different room across from me with her arms folded, huffing and puffing, and looking at me like she want to whip my motherfucking ass. Like, look like she want to whip my ass. You know? 
you know, kept on giving me mean looks like, I hate you, you know, I want to whip your ass kind of, you know, look on, expression on her, look on her face or whatever. So, you know, I mean, she left me alone with the invading my personal space and coughing on me or whatever, but now she think, you know, Mr. John got her and Miss Criola acting a certain kind of funny towards me. And so Miss Criola pretended to be fake nice and loud capped me in front of everybody and said, you got any of your, you got your vaccines yet? With a deceitful looking smile on her face. You got your vaccines yet? And, you know, then she tried to say, well, oh, I got all three of mine and stuff like that. So, um, bragging, oh, I got all three of mine or whatever, you know, so I can't go into too much detail or say nothing about that because, you know, but they got gnats in here too. So this is, you know, me documenting what just happened. So, I mean, if I'm supposed to document everything, why can't I mention the gang stalking aspect of it? So I got my final confirmation that Miss Brenda's a perp too, because y'all saw on film this morning, late this morning, Mr. John had that, um, at the bottom, he had like one head, like kind of at the bottom, like he wanted me to see it. You know, so taking advantage of, um, and here go Miss, here go the, I ain't gonna say her name, the other lady saying, oh, she probably isn't trying to bully you. Bitch, how you gonna say she ain't trying to bully you? You didn't, you didn't, what you mean she ain't trying to bully me? And, and, and you ain't even hear the, you didn't even hear the story. You didn't even hear the story of what happened when you say, oh, she isn't trying to bully you. Trying to gaslight me. So the other lady, one of the other supervisors, you know, trying to say, well, she isn't trying to, let me try to see if I can read what she said. Oh, she probably isn't trying to bully you. She's just being herself. Nah, Miss Brenda never acted like that. Or well, at least not towards me. She never acted like that before. But it's like, I remember, I think it was the day we had that incident. Um, right before the Thanksgiving holidays. And I, and, but earlier, like everybody got snuck in the cafeteria and got some food and nobody told me until later, I, I mean, until afterwards. And it's like, I said, well, um, I th how come nobody, um, told me about any, any lunch or, or whatever that we were supposed to get. And Miss Brenda folded her arms and was like, well, I thought you saw me, like with an attitude. So now she thinks she can get all hateful and abusive and tough on me and stuff like that, hell no. Like, this is my last week here, and they trying to say I needed to fill, fulfill 480 hours. That's why I need some. I need something self-employment so I won't have to deal with this workplace mobbing, workplace bullying and bullshit. I need a permanent place, and I need, I need um, some, some kind of way I can make money on my own, like self-employment or my own little business or, or something like that, rather than, you know, have, being college educated and having a, a bachelor's degree, working these um, just barely above minimum wage jobs and, you know, taking a whole bunch of shit off of people. So, what the hell? I'm going to see y'all.